Hi everyone, Lauren here from Restore 316 Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to add your own website designs or graphics to the desktop images that Shay does, like this one. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have both of my files open. So I'm going to have the desktop image that I'm going to use from Shay, and then I also have the actual screenshot of the website design that I'm going to be adding to this screen. So after we have both of our files open, we're going to start with this desktop file and we're going to actually create the space that we need to drop our website design into. So the first thing I'm going to do with this file is zoom in a little bit so that we can just focus our attention on this desktop space. So to do that, I'm going to go to view and zoom in. And you can also use the short code keys of command and plus on your keyboard to zoom in as well. So I'm going to do this two times here so that we can see um, all of our space. The next thing we're going to do is use the shape tool, which is right here. Um, and we're just going to use the standard rectangle tool and we're just going to fill in this space with a rectangle. I'm also going to change my color palette over here. All I do is double click and I'm just going to choose some random really bright color so that I can see exactly where my rectangle is going to be drawn. And then I'm just going to focus my attention just on this white space and try to get as close as I can and I can come back and edit that. If I mess up, we're going to fill that white space in with the red. And we can see um, by me using this bright color, I can see that I still have some space here left over. So again, I'm going to zoom in. I just use the keys on my keyboard. I'm going to scroll over. And I'm going to do um, Command T, which is the transform tool on my keyboard. And I'm going to pull this ever so slightly to the right to fill in that space. And now I'm going to zoom back out so we can see our entire space. There we go. Now, in this particular desktop image, we have these flowers that need to go over the top of our website design that we end up adding to this rectangle. So what we're going to do is erase part of this rectangle so that no matter what we add here in this space, these flowers will still be on top of our design. So in order to do that, we're going to add what's called a layer mask. And that's what this little icon at the bottom of our toolbar is. And we just want to make sure that our shape layer, our rectangle layer is selected. And then we're going to click that icon and it's going to add it to our layer with this little icon here in the middle. And so anytime you use your paintbrush tool, which is this little icon here, looks like a little paintbrush. Anytime you color over this layer mask over our shape, it's going to erase it. Then anytime you color over it with white, it's going to add it back. So this helps us kind of get a little closer to this and focus our attention on um, only coloring over the actual flower. So I've gotten pretty close there and I'm going to zoom in now. I'm going to use my keyboard this time and do command plus. Do that a couple times and get really close and I'm just going to continue going back and forth between white and black and I'm going to color and uncolor to get it just right. So right now I'm just working with the white because I've already erased too much and so I'm just going to add some back just around the flower and what I'm doing is using my paintbrush tool once again and then on my keyboard I'm using um, the little icons that look like brackets um, and I can use those and go up and down to make my brush bigger and smaller to kind of easily get around these spaces. So here I, I need my brush to be a little smaller. Oops, that's a little too small. And I'm just going to keep working around until I get all the way around the flower. make my brush a little bit bigger. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to get that right there. Okay, and I think we've got it all. So now I'm going to zoom back out so we can see it. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now we can see the flower over the top of our rectangle and we can kind of change the color of our rectangle a little bit so that we can Judge it with different colors. Yep, so now I see that I have a little bit more to erase. So let's go back and zoom in. So 
Sometimes it's hard to see this when, with certain colors, so it's nice to go back and change the colors just to get it right. Zoom a little bit more. Oops. Okay. Almost done. Okay, that should do it. Okay, good deal. So now we can see with that color that we've we filled the space in a little bit better. And we have that flower over the top of our design. So now that we have this file ready and prepared to add our website design, there's one little trick that I'm gonna do before we get and pull in our website design that we're gonna to add to the screen here. And that is using the crop tool. And I'm just gonna crop just this rectangle space so that I can see the width of it. Let's do image size. And it's showing us that it's 902 pixels wide. And so that number is telling me what size width I need this website design to be so that it'll fit properly in the screen. So I'm just gonna undo that, undo the crop so we can have our image back. And now I'm gonna go into this website design that I have prepared. And this is the design that I'm gonna be adding to this screen. And I'm gonna go to image size and I'm gonna select 905. I'm just gonna do something really close to 902. I'm gonna do it just a couple pixels over 902 just to make sure that the edges fit in properly into the screen. And so now that's resized and I'm going to click it and drag it and drop it over here into this file. I need to make sure it's on top of our rectangle layer. Oh, come on. Here we go. And now I'm gonna line it up right here on the middle of this screen kind of use the arrows on my keyboard just to make sure it fits right over the top of this rectangle. So the next thing we need to do is just make sure that this design is only fitting inside of this rectangle. And so what I'm going to do is go to layer and I'm going to do create clipping mask. And as soon as we do that, it fills in just this rectangle. So now we have the flower over the top of our design and our website design is in Shay's beautiful desktop images.